I've always had animals. Since since I was a kid, I used to have mice. I used to love mice. But uh, my mum would never allow us to have a dog or a cat. We couldn't have anything like that. We had the odd rabbit, and that was it. Morning, Jeffrey. Come on. Good morning. There you go. We bought Robert up from a chick, and I always thought she was a male. And then she just laid an egg one day, and that was it, basically. I used to work in factory, and about 10 years ago I decided to foster for the RSPCA. And the first animals we got were cats, and the cat and the kitten did that for a few years, and we used to look after a friend's cat. And so we decided to do the cat tree, you know. And it went on from there, really. We just started off with four pens, got a licence for eight cats, and we decided to increase to 19 cats. Oh, my goodness me, what have you been doing in here? How many cats have you got? I've got five cats and my daughter's got seven cats. Come on, Luna. I was part-time at Cats Protection and as the catchery sort of took off, Mum said, you know, was I interested in helping her out? And I think it's better to sort of focus on one thing. So now I'm permanent here. Oh my gosh. Is it dinner time? Oh, she's a good girl. She's a good girl. We photograph them because we keep them for the record, obviously, and we like to put them on Facebook and show people the cats in the cat room. It just puts them at ease, you know, because owners do worry when they leave the cats. They don't know what they're doing, do they? So I just like to reassure and put mind at rest, you know. Hello, Sadie. Come on, then, darling. First, you go in, make sure they're okay, give them a fuss. Check the bedding area, make sure there's nothing untoward in there. Tidy it up, wipe down the surfaces, change the water, change the litter tray, give it all good clean underneath the litter tray. And then give them a brush if they like it. Don't if they don't. <laughs> and what is it about cats? I like the fact that they'll only come to you if they want to come to you. And so when a cat really likes you or a cat comes up to you, I think, that, you know, it's nice, isn't it? I just like the independence of cats. I like the way they keep their own characters, you know, they keep their own natural behaviours in a lot of ways. They're amazing, really. Jeffrey, No, go on. <laughs> go on, naughty boy.